Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be walking you through my workflow for sculpting a pottery in ZBrush using digital tools to mimic the feel of real clay. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced sculptor, this tutorial will help you create organic, handcrafted details for your pottery designs. So let's dive in. We will begin with the bottom and the top as these are the most common areas that can be affected by impacts, such as scratches and other damage. Then it's time to add even more realism. On the body itself, I will apply surface noise, either all over or in specific areas. Using alphas to create that natural, muddy texture, since this is clay, imperfections are key to making it look authentic. Next, I will focus on adding depths to the cracks and holes. It's common to see small engraved details in real clay, so I will enhance those areas to make them feel more natural. I will also add more wear and tear to the bottom, since it's usually the most affected part of a pottery piece. To push the realism further, I will start sculpting crack lines using the old cracks brush or even the standard brush. As long as I'm using Morph Target, I can go back and forth with the details, adjusting them until I get the look I want. This flexibility helps in achieving an organic, handcrafted appearance without overcommitting too soon. I will keep refining until everything looks just right. I will work on adding depths to the cracks and small holes. It's common to see tiny engraved details of real clay, so I will enhance those areas to make them feel more organic. I will also add extra damage to the bottom. Taking a step back and looking at the model from a distance is a key to maintaining balance between the size, position and shape of the cracks for example, if I add a large crack at the top, it's better to place the next one at the bottom and make it smaller. Some areas should also be left without cracks, using only surface noise and small holes to add variation. Variety is essential. When you look at the model as a whole, you don't want to see repetition. This helps keep the design organic and natural. Most of the brushes I'm using here are ZBrush default brushes, the standard brush, Dame Standard and Clay Buildup, especially at the bottom where I use negative values to carve out damage. When working on a damaged model, it's important not to leave areas untouched. If you have deep cracks in some spots, make sure the wear and tear is distributed naturally throughout the model. This tells a believable story about how the pottery has been used and aged over time. In the final stage, I focus on smaller details, depend deepening some cracks and holes to add more depth. These subtle refinements make a big difference in selling the realism of the piece. Sculpting pottery is always a fun process. You can experiment with custom-made brushes or explore different effects by simply playing around with the brushes, default brushes. It's always fun to sculpt clay. The process is both creative and experimental. You can explore different textures, play with brushes and push the details to bring your pottery to life. Whether you are using custom brushes or just tweaking the default ones in ZBrush, every piece has its own unique character. The key is to enjoy the journey and let the imperfections make it feel real. At the end, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think or if you have any questions about this video or upcoming ones. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.